one year in jail. And now we got to check in with Trump because he's making headlines for a pretty wild suggestion he just made that he's made before, but he made it again at his big high profile rally he just did at Madison Square Garden in New York that's causing all this controversy. Well, at this event, Trump reiterated a common idea he's previously expressed about adding criminal penalties for people who burn the U.S. flag. Take a listen. And as long as the Speaker of the House of Representatives is here, I would like to put forward a bill because I watched two months ago as some very bad people, radical left people, by the way, nothing happened to them, in Washington, D.C., burned our American flags. They were burning flags. And I would like to suggest that we put in a bill if you burn the American flag, one year in jail. So people keep making these really outlandish accusations that Trump is a new Hitler or is a fascist or whatever. And I think a lot of that's overblown. But this suggestion is actually authoritarian and totally incompatible with the values of a free society. I would never burn the flag. I absolutely love America. And I think it's an profound and immense privilege to be born an American and to enjoy the freedoms we have. But one of those freedoms is the First Amendment and the right to free speech, which includes expressive acts, not just literal words, and even ones that are very offensive to some people or hurt some people's feelings or offend the national sense of patriotism and love for country. That's the point that we love our country so much that we tolerate dissent. We're not like the authoritarian countries that lock you up if you criticize the government or if you hate on your own country. We don't do that. Our First Amendment prohibits that. And that is not just me saying that. That is what the Supreme Court famously ruled in a case named Texas versus Johnson. And the lead judge, the lead justice on that case was the conservative legend Antonin Scalia not some liberal judge, liberal justice. This was Antonin Scalia, who Trump has many times praised. They wrote, if there is a bedrock principle underlying the First Amendment, it is that the government may not prohibit the expression of an idea simply because society finds the idea itself offensive or disagreeable. Burning the flag is a form of free speech. This isn't controversial. This is settled law. This is established precedent. And he's just casually suggesting that we criminalize a form of political speech and throw people in jail for a year over it. That's crazy. Imagine how Republicans would respond if Kamala Harris wanted to make burning the pride flag a crime and up, up to a year in prison for it. They'd all say that's a, a violation of our freedom of speech. I'd agree. I'd go outside and burn one myself. Now, whenever I make this point, I get a couple of responses that are rooted in misunderstandings. One is that Trump is just saying, oh, well, these radicals, these protesters, these rioters who go out and vandalize and burn American flags on public buildings or whatever, they should go to jail. And that I would have no issue with because they're doing vandalism. They're destroying other people's property. But I have looked into the specifics of Trump's proposals. He said this over and over again, and he is not just talking about that scenario. He means across the board, anyone who burns an American flag, even if you own the flag, you should go to jail. And that is totally inconsistent with the First Amendment. It's a total just in violation of our Constitution and of the Supreme Court's precedent. And he must know that and, and not care or he doesn't know it. I don't know. But either way, I think he's just totally off base. Now, the other point that people make to me is they'll show me news stories about somebody who's arrested for burning a pride flag and they'll say, it's already illegal to burn the pride flag. So this is just the other side of that coin. But what they fail to understand about those stories is that those typically are instances where somebody went on to another building or property they don't own and burned or vandalized a pride display that doesn't belong to them. It is 100% legal to go to a store, purchase a pride flag, go to somewhere where you're allowed to burn things and light it on fire. That you will not be criminally charged for it. There is no law prohibiting it. And if there ever was from Kamala or the Democrats, it would be struck down under the First Amendment in the same exact way that Trump's idea here about American flags would be. Now, folks like Elon Musk keep saying that they support Trump because he's going to save free speech. And I get that the left and the Democrats are enemies of free speech in many ways. But Trump has a very spotty record on these issues from the freedom of the press to banning flag burning to even he has his own version of the Twitter files where the Trump administration was pressuring social media companies to take down posts that hurt his feelings, like a post from Chrissy Teigen 
insulting him. They contacted Twitter to try to take it down, which is what we've complained about the Biden administration doing. So I just got to be honest with you guys. I think Trump has a very spotty record on this issue, and I'm concerned by some of the statements he's making. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below and do hit that like button while you're at it. Uh,